Hello, my name's CO, and I used to make videos on here a while ago, and I stopped once they took away my Windows Movie Maker. I got it back, I found it through some old web archives, and I was able to get it working, so I'm making videos again. I'm using my laptop camera because it's less like a million times easier, and the quality's about the same as my Nikon, because my Nikon is from, like, the early 2000s, but <laughs> that's besides the point. This is spring break for me right now this week, so I also have off of work today, which means I get to scoop my boots and kind of just go out and about. So that's what I'm going to do today, and I'm going to take y'all with me. I'm probably going to film most of it on my phone, so we'll see how that goes. I probably won't talk if I'm out in public just because that is really nerve-wracking for me. My plan today, my number one plan, was to get my Angel Bites re-pierced. I've had them pierced two times now this will be my third time if i get them done which i'm still debating like i really want to but i'm like a little nervous about the scar tissue and i don't know it's also like the, the shop i go to is like kind of far away so we'll see we'll see i'm probably just gonna wear this and like some tights and i have knee-high converse that i finally fixed and sewed up yesterday there was a massive hole in the back of them and i sewed it all up so i might wear those as well because i thought that was cute and yeah, I'm going to fix up my makeup and I'll be all good to go. I just got here, I'm at the piercing shop, and I was like, I really want to do it, but I'm really nervous about asking the piercer to redo them for me. I feel bad that I had them close up the first time, and I did it completely unintentionally, but like, I don't know. I guess it's more money for them, so like, whatever, but it still makes me nervous, and I feel bad because he did a really good job the first time. Um, and I usually wear more makeup than this, but I didn't want to today since I was getting my face pierced, or possibly doing it. So, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Also, it's really cold, so I brought a jacket, so my outfit might change at some point. <laughs> okay, so I just got them done. I love them. I'm so happy I did it. I love the placement so much more, and it's my third time doing it, so it fucking hurt, but it was so worth it. Um, it's bleeding a little bit right now, which is fine. It's gonna bleed a tiny bit. Um, I am currently at a Goodwill. It's five minutes from the shop I go to, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop in. I'm gonna look around real quick while I'm out here. There's so much liquid in my car. Interesting. But yeah, I'm gonna look around real quick. I'm gonna clean this up. And yeah, let's see if I find anything good. Who knows? I'm so obsessed though. Oh my god, that's a lot. I'm dying. No. Hello, so I am now back home. I obviously got my lips pierced. There's like a little bit of dry blood, but I cleaned most of it up. And then this one just has like a little bit, but it's fine. They're fine. 
It hurts like a little bit. It's more like numb, which was weird. I was not expecting it. This side, when it got pierced, it went numb like really fast. And that was, that was a new experience for me. And I think it's just because all the scar tissue I have in that one spot. I went to Goodwill afterwards, like y'all saw. Kind of like a lame trip, but I did get some cool finds, which was cool. like a couple stuff. So it was like worth it considering it was like five minutes away. Ultimately, I spent $12, but I rounded up my change because I always do for Goodwill. I got four items total. And yeah, let's do a quick little thrift haul. Uh, first up, I got a CD. It's three doors down. It's a classic. It's got the Kryptonite song on here. But the CD's in really good condition. I checked. There was a Panic at the Disco CD that I really wanted. I'm like 99% sure I already have it. You know what? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I know I have Pretty Odd for a fact because I purposely bought Pretty Odd brand new um, because I needed it in my life. I'm not a big Panic at the Disco fan, but I like some other songs. Pretty Odd is a very important album to me. I grew up listening to it. Um, when me and my friends would play rock band, we would play ni 9 in the afternoon over and over and over again. So I, I needed it in my life. These socks, because they're cute. They're little Halloween socks. Uh, they have like little vampire fangs, moons, and bats. And I love crew socks, which these are crew socks. They like go like, like the ones I'm wearing now, they like go up to here and I love them. So these are really cute, and I have a bunch of Halloween ones, but I don't have these, so $2 can't go wrong. The CD was also $2. Really just a plain black shirt. I got it from the kids section, it's a large and a kid's size. Um, I really just got this for work. I really hope they don't care that I'm gonna DIY my uniform. Um, this shirt though, this was the most expensive thing I bought. The one I just showed you was $3.11, because it was from the kids section. This one was $4.77, but it was my favorite, so it was worth it. And it's so fucking cool. It's the White Tie Affair, which is a indie pop band. I don't really know them that well. I'm gonna be honest. I know it's a band, and I know that they're indie, which I love indie music, so I'm gonna check them out and listen to the music. Hopefully it's good. But the shirt fit me perfectly. It reminded me of shirts I used to have when I was a kid that I regrettably got rid of, um, but it's so cute. It's so of its time. It's an extra small that actually fits like an extra small. My favorite color is yellow, and I don't have enough yellow in my wardrobe. And I'm just, I'm so genuinely obsessed with the design. I'm like really happy about it. And like this made the whole trip worth it for me. So it's cool. It's cool, I'm very happy about that. But yeah, that was all I got. So yeah, that was my very short and swift thrift haul. If there was more stuff I would do a try on, I think I took videos of me wearing some of the stuff like in the fitting room so like you'll see me wearing most of it like it's mainly just that one shirt <laughs> there was also that aero pastel shirt that i did like but i just didn't see myself really wearing a lot but i do like a lot of the older aero pastel just because quality and i like that like a lot of the text is like sewed on i just think that's nice a lot of union bay like shorts that i was really interested in but they were all like sizes like five and seven and i don't wear that size so Someone someone will be happy to find all of those because Union Bay is awesome and I, I always look for that brand when I'm out and about. I think I also took clips of other- Oh my god, a fucking Harry Potter shirt was sending me. I don't know what Hogwarts motherfucker died re recently, but <laughs> I every thrift store I've gone to has been overloaded with Harry Potter merch. And holy lord, the- I forgot what it said, but it was something about like no one deserves to live in a closet and it was the Harry- Potter shit and like rainbow text and I was like one super ironic two insane buy who bought that I don't know like I don't mean to hate like if you were into Harry Potter I don't I don't hold it against you but like man be self-aware whenever I see the Harry Potter merch a part of me is like I kind of want it but like I would feel so weird wearing it I don't know like the designs are kind of cute sometimes, like some of the shit I see, like, oh my god, I saw this bag that was like vaguely Harry Potter, and it was kind of cute, and I was like, I kind of want this, but y'all, y'all would never forgive me, I wouldn't forgive myself either. Welcome back. Um, so if anyone's interested, if I was, anyone wants to know, 
if I was in one of the Hogwarts houses, I would be Ravenclaw. Thank you. 100%. All I know about them is that they're smart, and I'm like, ugh, sure. Um, also, recording in public is so fucking uncomfortable, by the way. I don't know how people do that. I'd be, like, watching people, like, go in public, and not only do they record, they do it, like, openly, and they talk, and it's like, don't you feel weird? Don't you feel- Oh, these were dope. The red pants, the carpenter pants, those were actually sick as fuck. And if they were, like, skinny jeans, I would have bought them. But they weren't, and I really don't fuck with baggy pants like that. So, whoever finds them, good find. Uh, the mustache shirt, that insane. Was not expecting that. And then, let's see. <laughs> the fucking Harry Potter shirt. I mean, I'm never gonna get over that. That was awesome. Unrelated, I was at a thrift store yesterday. Again, I have brain rot. And, likely, I usually don't go all too often. Especially recently, I used to go a lot more. But I just get so overstimulated and exhausted. Like today, like I was gonna go somewhere else after the thrift. And that I was just gonna get some errands done. But after I was done, I was like, dude, my head's gonna fucking explode. So I just went home. I went to one yesterday because I was dropping off donations and I was like, fuck it, I'm here, I'm just gonna look around real quick. And I actually did get a lot of good finds. I got this. I found a pair of shoes. And like my issue recently is that some emo kid with like a size six, six shoe keeps donating their shoes. And I can't buy any of them, and it's really upsetting to me, so, like, shit, can you please wear a 7.5, please? Maybe an 8, dude, I'll make an exception. Loud as hell for no reason, bro. She's going insane. They were a pair of, like, dark red, like, they weren't maroon, per se. It was, like, a dark red, like, my wall was dark red. And it was a pair of Converse, and they had black studs all over them. I'm like, this is the dopest shit ever, but no way in hell they were going to fit. So I literally, after the thrift, I came home, and I like went on studsandspikes.com, and I bought a pack of silver spikes. No, studs. They were pyramid studs. Which, they'll probably last like two minutes. They'll probably fall off after I put them on. It's fine. They'll look cool while they're there. Well, I can hot glue it. Has anyone ever done that? Have you ever glued stu studs so they wouldn't- does it help? Or would it not stick because of the metal? I don't know, I'll have to look into it. Besides that, I'm very excited to stud the shit out of my Converse, and I bought a hundred pack, and I think I'll have leftovers, question mark? I'm just doing the outsides of my Converse, and I don't think it'll take up a lot, because I'm just doing the sides of them. So I, if I do have leftovers, depending on how much I have, I might stud a pair of my pants, or shorts. I've been talking way too fucking much. Thank you for watching. I hope this was, like, entertaining at all. I don't know. I showed you four items and then proceeded to not shut up for, like, the next eight minutes. I'm gonna go make rice and beans for dinner and play Wizard 101. Have a good day. Goodbye. Say bye, Maisie. She's licking her crotch. Mm.